John, you got us? Yeah, I got you. Awesome. We're good. Cool. All right. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Joined here by uh, Brandon Smith. If you have a uh, question for Brandon, please use the raise hand feature. I'll call on you to unmute, and then you can ask uh, Brandon your question. We'll start, start with uh, Audrey Snyder, followed by Ben Jones. Go ahead, Audrey. Hey, Brandon. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing well, thank you. I um, wanted to start off by asking you about Rock Nation. Um, how did that come about, and what kind of opportunities are you looking forward to with NIL? Really, with that situation, I mean, they um, – they reached out to, um, well, actually, a family friend had uh, got contact from them and they had uh, wanted, like, us to have, like, conversation and stuff like that. So, like, obviously had my parents uh, talk to them first, uh, make sure everything was all right, you know, before I even get involved in it or whatever. Everything checked out. They're all great people, uh, wise people. And... Um, got in contact with them just basically had general conversation and then next thing you know we're here <laughs> um as far as that uh the second part of your question i mean for the most part it's just mainly uh looking like not only for like as in like right now but also business stuff it's like as far as like real world type situations and stuff like everything is more than just what, what we got going on now and just me learning from them as far as like the business aspect, of everything and having the many different connections and stuff like that. As far as the people that I am talking to, uh, it's just a really great opportunity. Hey, Ben Jones and then Tyler Donahue. Go ahead, Ben. Brandon, I kind of want to follow up on that a little bit because Andre's still my question. Um, what is it like to go from not having these opportunities last year to having to navigate, you know, you know, I know that rock nation is not relatively new at this point, but, you know, just to kind of deal with, you know, the business side of things, the personal brand side of things, the fact that you can make money now that you couldn't before. I mean, how do you kind of go from point A to point B figuring out how to navigate that? Uh, really is, is, uh, it's more than making money uh, right now. It's like the knowledge and stuff that you gather from talking to many different people and learning their different experiences and just having general conversation with them on a day-to-day -day basis is more really valuable than making the money right now. Uh, as far as, uh, can you repeat like the uh, second part of your question? Can you, can you repeat the second part? Yeah, to get unmuted. I, I mean, just it, it's, that's that much more on your plate as a student athlete. What is it like to kind of, I mean, who do you lean on for advice in that area? How do you kind of navigate, you know, the ability to do all of these things, even if it's just about business decisions or advice down the road, that's just that much more you have to deal with. How do you do that? How do you deal with it? Really, as far as like spare time and having to deal with many different things, it's really on based on how I spend my time and stuff like that. Like I know some things as far as like, you know, school, football, family, and stuff like that, like, holds, like, a higher expectation or whatever. But for the most part, I mean, it's not really a hassle, like, dealing with that type of stuff, to be honest with you. If I know that I want to do something in a particular field when I get out of, like, my playing career or whatever like that, then that's just something that I have to invest more time in or either figure out a way how to spend time. In that. Like, I don't really see it as uh, a hassle, so to say. And I also have like my cousin, he goes to law school at Penn State. He's, he lives with me. Um, I got my parents and uh, other mentors and support systems that, that help me as well. And we ping pong ideas off each other as well as talking back and forth with Rock Nation. So it really is an all group effort and I'm not really going through this thing alone. Hey, Tyler Donahue followed by Daniel Gallon. Go ahead, Tyler. Hey, Brandon, congrats on the NIL opportunities. Um, do want to talk about football, uh, what we saw on the practice field today. We haven't gotten a bunch of opportunities to see you guys in action as a whole defense. Can you describe what you're seeing when that and to the in a factor for, for you guys and up front? Uh, really, Jesse, he, he brings a lot to the table as far as the mic position, will position, and now going forward, the defensive end position. He's very knowledgeable. He knows exactly what he's talking about. He's a great player. Uh, he's a leader in our room and even leader in the defensive um, line room. 
And really, there's a lot that he brings to the table on, on the field and off the field with, with his knowledge. Um, as far as dealing with uh, the different fronts and personnel and stuff like that, I mean, everything. I mean, we've we've trained many, many hours for this. We've been going through 16-hour days and stuff uh, back and forth with for this type of stuff. I mean, for the most part, we're going to be prepared with whatever we're given. Daniel Gallen, followed by Maxwell Dane. Go ahead, Daniel. Hey, Brandon. Uh, when back to the N NIL stuff, um, for when you knew that coming, what was kind of your reaction when you kind of see that coming down the road? And then, um, you know, now that it's actually here, how does kind of what people were saying about it, what it would us right now? Can you repeat that question, please? Sorry. Um, basically, what were you kind of expecting NAL to be like when you heard it was happening and what and how does that compare to how it actually is? Really, when they first came up with the idea of having NIL, NIL I always mess, it, mess up, NIL, um, really, I mean, it was just an idea like, oh, we can get paid or whatever like that. But for the most part, there's a whole bunch of different like many rules and stuff like that that a whole bunch of people didn't even know about and there was a whole bunch of stuff that was solidified yet so I knew it was kind of going to be like one of those things where it's just going to just be scot-free um as far as the way I've been dealing with it or whatever I've been more so on the path really that type of stuff Hey, Maxwell Dane, go ahead, and uh, followed by Audrey Schneider. Hey, just, Brandon, how are you? I'm doing good. So just to flip back to football for a second, um, you know, after spending a whole season with Jesse Lucetta next to you, is it weird not having him next to you in uh, throughout the entirety of every practice now with him kind of switching to the end a little bit? And, and what's it like having somebody new step up into that role? Well, really, technically, with my position at first, I was at – Sam, which was out in space, and, like, I had, like, Ellis and then Jesse Hughes on a complete opposite side of the field. So, I mean, like, he really wasn't, you know, beside me to the standpoint. Towards the end of the season, he was when we were, like, mixing and matching different combinations. But for the most part, uh, it's not really, so to say, like, bad not having him right there beside me because – He's given a lot of uh, information within the meeting room as well as on the field and stuff like that. And even him being in that other defense in position, there's a lot of things that personally I don't have to worry about whenever communicating back and forth with him if I need him to do a particular assignment. So really that helps a lot of him knowing, okay, I have to do this. I usually have to tell the defense in this is what you have to do, but since he's knowledgeable about both things, I don't have to particularly worry about that. So it's it's a win-win situation as far as uh, that comes to play. Um, there's going to be certain situations and times where he may be at will or whatever like that, but still, that's that's out of my hands, out of my control. Brandon, um, I wanted to ask you, what's who who's made the most impressive play so far this camp? Uh, who on the defense has stood out, and also. Um, how is how has Curtis Jacobs been adapting to that bigger role that he's getting ready for? Really, as far as the um, playmaker thing, we have a whole bunch of playmakers on the defense as far as not only our defense alignment, linebackers and uh, secondary. Uh, there's not really one particular person or play that I can really point out that was like spectacular or anything like that because there have just been so many recently. But um, for the most part, I mean, everybody's playmakers uh, at this level, uh, whether it's on offense, defense, special teams. And um, Curtis, he's definitely stepping into a big role. He's got a good head on his shoulders, and he's definitely ready for it. Uh, there's still, like, certain situations where he'll ask me, like, hey, would you do this or, like, or am I right doing this? And most of the time when he's um, basically uh, saying when he's going to do this, it works out. And even I learned from my mistakes that I made in the past with that. So, I mean, for the most part, I mean, he has a good head on the shoulders. He's smart. He's learning. He's asking many questions to myself and Coach Pryor, and he's just going to be all over. He's going to be good in that position. David, if you got a quick one, go ahead and jump in. Sure. Hey, Brian. Um, 
I just wanted to ask you, uh, I, I think you guys were in Beaver Stadium last Sunday. Um, I'm just wondering, you know, what, what that was like and uh, what you thought of that. Thanks. I mean, it was great to be back home. Uh, I'll, I'll call it home because, I mean, it's, it's basically our home. I mean, we got to protect it whenever we go in it or – any opponents or anything like that but it was great being back and uh great being in the atmosphere again and really you can kind of you got that we just 